Hi, this is Shreyang Siddharth and welcome to the next video of this object oriented programming section. Now in the previous video, we learned the concept of overriding in case of Kotlin. Now in this video, let us check out how do we use the primary and secondary constructors when we have inheritance involved. So here inside our project, I have simply modified my code. So this is the derived class of dog and this is the super class of animal. Now notice here we have the open keyword and inside the animal class I have the property of color and inside the dog I have the property of breed. So the dog class indirectly gets the property variable of color as well. So inside the main class I am simply setting the color as black and dog.breed equal to pug. So I guess no doubt till here. And now suppose Instead of defining the property variable here, let us use the constructor to define the property variable. Let's say var space breed of the type of string, right? And let us now remove it. And now by default inside the constructor as well, you can define the default value. So this is actually known as the default constructor where you define the default values for these variables such as I can define here black. So if you don't pass any value inside the doc constructor, then by default this variable breed will get the value of black. And this concept of default parameters we have already seen in the previous module where we learned about the default parameters in case of methods in Kotlin. So as of now, let us remove it. So here the compiler is not happy because we have to pass some value here. So here I will simply cut the pug from here and paste it inside the primary constructor of dog, right? So when this statement will be executed inside the primary constructor, this breed variable will get the value of pug. And now the same thing we can apply for the color variable as well. So here inside the primary constructor at the header of animal, we can simply define var color of the type of string and now here as well you can define the default value let's say black right so as of now let us remove it and now let us remove this var color from here we don't need it so here at the bottom you will find some error it simply says that we need to pass some value because the primary constructor of the animal contains one parameter so here what i will do is i will simply pass some value now that value I have to get it from this dog constructor. So for this, I have to modify my dog constructor. Let's modify it. Let us define the parameter as color string comma var breed. So now inside the animal, I can simply pass color. And now at the top, I am having some error. It simply expects two parameters. And now I have one parameter defined. So here as a first parameter, simply pass black command X and paste it here comma pug. And now, so what is happening here is that when this statement will be executed, it will simply call the primary constructor of this dog class. So here is our primary constructor. So inside this, this color parameter will, will get the value of black and this property variable of breed will get the value of pug. And now in return, I am calling the super class constructor that is the animal class constructor where the value of color is actually this one, right? Which is actually black. So this statement will simply pass in the value of black, which will fall here at the property variable of this class of animal. So here inside the class of dog, let us define our init block and let us print some value. And now, let us copy this init block from here and paste it inside the animal as well. And let us modify the code animal and here remove the breed, right? And now let us run the code and let's see if everything is working fine. So here we go in the output console. We are getting from animal init black from dog init black and pug. So what is exactly happening is that when this statement is executed, it simply triggers this method or this constructor, which in turn simply calls the super constructor animal. 
and simply pass color as a value that falls here and hence we get the value of the color inside the animal class. And in the same way here we get the value of the breed right and here we are printing the values. So in this way when we use constructors in case of inheritance we have to compulsorily follow this guideline. Always call the super class primary constructor if you are having it right. And now at the end just to avoid confusion always remember the sequence. So here the first parameter is actually color here. So in the derived class as well the first parameter always make it color. Just to avoid any confusion. Now if you want multiple constructors in your class such as if you want to use the secondary constructor instead of primary constructor then let's see what changes do we have to make. So here let us remove the init block. And again let us remove the init block from here and now I will simply define my secondary constructor and what I will do is I will simply cut these parameters from here control X and paste it right here and let us remove the declaration here and now the secondary constructor has its own body and here as well I will create a secondary constructor. And let us cut this statement from here and paste it inside the animal constructor right and it has its own body. And now as per the rule the secondary constructor cannot contain the var keyword that is you cannot declare the properties inside the secondary constructor. So what I will do is I will simply copy it and define it as a property inside this right like this. And now. I will simply remove the var keyword from here and inside the constructor I will simply use this dot color equal to color so as to initialize our color variable from here right. And now here it shows some error the primary constructor call expected. So here we need to simply use colon space this right give a call to the primary constructor as well this one. And now inside the class doc again we have some error. So what I will do is let us remove this color from here and now inside this we need to remove this var keyword because we cannot have the properties inside the secondary constructor. So let us define the var breed of the type of string equal to let's say a blank string and now inside the constructor I will again use this dot breed equal to breed right. And now as per the rules defined inside the Kotlin whenever we are using the secondary constructor we need to call the super class constructor as well. So from this constructor we need to call this constructor. So here what I will do is I will simply use colon and then call super. And as a parameter I will simply pass this color. So let us pass this color right. So this super statement will simply call this constructor defined here right and here it is showing some error let us do one thing let us remove it from here and also from here right. So this rectifies our code. So in case of secondary constructor what do we have here is this is our class dog that inherits all the properties from the animal class right and here we have defined the secondary constructor. So when this statement at the top is executed this this constructor is actually triggered. So color will get the value of black and breed will get the value of pug and this statement in return will simply trigger the super class constructor that is defined here right which in turn will simply initialize the color variable and again since we have removed the primary constructor declaration from here so we don't need to call the primary constructor from here. So let us remove it and this rectifies our error and now let us do one thing let us try to print some values let's say inside the dog constructor and let us copy this statement and paste it inside this constructor as well and here I will simply use from animal so as to check if we are getting the values or not and now let us run the code. So again in the output we get from animal class we get the output as black and inside the dog we are getting the value of black and pug respectively. 
So our code is now working perfectly fine and each class is getting its own value with the help of constructors in Kotlin. Right? So in this video we learned about how do we use the primary constructors and also the secondary constructors in case of Kotlin.